Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about hotkeys and how to put them into your programs. We're going to look at using the control and the alt key uh, today because that's pretty much all the hotkeys I use in uh, File Snatch. Um, and they've done two different ways. Uh, one's kind of the old fashioned or the older fashioned way, which is the control, and then the, uh, the more kind of modern that came with UWP and the alt. And uh, let's take a quick look at our interface. I'm going to just hover over here. You'll see a control P, meaning that I can start that, that file transfer. Uh, and that's essentially a tooltip on top of it telling me what to do if I were to hover again over this again to see it. Uh, I can just hit control P. It'll start moving these files to this new folder. Now, the reason why I use Alt and Control is because Control is kind of has a, a standard associated with it. So in other words, if I were to say Control S, most people would think save. So I wanted to keep that standard with um, the buttons here on File Snatch. And the way you do that is you go ahead and set an event listener onto the entire grid. So uh, this grid is going to be active and everything on it is going to be listening for it. And then I'm going to set set basically these two things, a key down and a key up that are going to be constantly listened to as long as that um, our app is active. And they will take you to grid, grid key down and grid key up. You can find both of these in our main file. So the grid key up is essentially ending, terminating everything. And so it's very simple. We're just going to set one variable false. And the reason we do that is because we set it to true when we get into this method that is called by the event listener. We call down key down, and then it's going to say, well, if the key that you pressed is equal to the and you need to have this Wyndham Systems virtual key. So you need that library, which is pretty standard library, the term virtual key and control, meaning that the control key has been pressed. Or excuse me, the key that was pressed is the control key. And then it's going to set this to true. Keep in mind when you're looking at that is that when you press down the control key, the event listener will listen, 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 listen in a big endless loop. So when you press the key, control key down, you're actually going to get listened to multiple times. So the first time it turns it on to true, and the second time it lets it go into this uh, control key press. So we turn it off all the other times to not try to evaluate this constantly, or we'd, we'd, we'd bog the system down a little bit. But once it is pressed, then we start listening. And so the control key gets pressed, and then it says, what is going to be pressed with it? So in other words, we're going to look for all these P, D, O, L, S, sorry about the hover. <laughs> um, and those are the five keys that you can use with control and file snatch as of right now. It's, it's kind of like a nested if because we're using a switch statement here, which essentially just says uh, what key gets matched to which virtual key. And so it can listen to two keys at, a, at one time. So here is the bottom one, save, which again, virtual key, S. And then it's, if it does that, it's going to save that info. So in other words, the settings that we use in File Snatch are the load, and then we also have a save. And we use Control L and Control S for those two. Now, we also have another thing that's been developed for UWP in that they have a very simple way of putting alt statements in. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and you'll see this access key A and L. So the, essentially I think I, I think this might be the only two but I'm not 100% sure. In any event the these that access key just listens for the alt on your keyboard. You don't have to send it to a method. And then we have a little tool tip thing just to say, just to give us some direction. But now all of a sudden the alt key is all set up to be listening to whatever piece you have. Now let's go 
back or actually let me just click on here let's go back to our save button right here so i'm going to do an add and put an alt s there so now if i run this again to save i can use a control s the old way or i can use an alt s and hence you can have multiple hotkeys technically to the same button or whatever you're trying to activate. So give that a try. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thanks. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. This would help us out greatly. If you'd like to support us in other ways, our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the Microsoft Store. See the links below. We appreciate your support. Thanks.